Assalamu alaikum, half brothers, sisters. You know, from last week, two weeks from now, right around early April, I was all from Western and Mosque as well. So I'm totally free right now. Sometimes I go to Mosque in the Jewish community to pray there, but I'm totally free right now. There's one reason for this, one reason. I have many opinions, many opinions to the Imam in Mosque, Imam, Pakistani and Malaysian. They are said from Muhammad and uh, controlled by Saudi Arabia and those UAE as well. But I truly, truly disagree with what they are doing in the COVID Mosque. So Muhammad is, you know, believing religious, he's very poor. I've seen those many people just, you know, struggling with so much sin. The poor, disability, or less. Because of the only, you know, one leader, Imam, decision. Once they fail, they fail so hard. So Imam are controlled by Muhammad, so you know what I mean. Muhammad is poor. 100% I guarantee you that. Believe me, Muhammad is extremely poor. You don't get anything, but you get power or an opinion to towards people, but you're punished by you know so many people and you're totally totally uh, disappearing from the society. You will never be succeeded, believe me, Muhammad and religions. Muhammad is Rasulullah. Laila Haidan Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad is prophet right now. So I don't know Mahdi or Mahdi Castle. I don't know the name of the Imam, head Imam, you know, this religious but I truly believe in God, love. So no matter where I go, right, Jewish community, Christianity, Islam, all the same. I believe in love. I pray to love. So, you know, at least I could pray in the Kobe Mosque, Kobe Mosque, five minutes from my house, to pray to love. And that's more than, you know, more than anything, everything. I, I could reach out to love and God and everything. So, believe in Muhammad, believe me, there is just, you know, there are many religious out there. You know, if you believe in religious, you are like comfortable and perfect. You have so much friend and lover and wife and children, but you will never be succeed in this life hereafter. Because love, God has every decision in the, in the whole world. Politics, economics, business, investment, and everything. Economy and everything. Controlled by love, God. So, if I go to Jewish community out there, right, there's Ibrahim out there. If I go to Moscow out there, right, there's Muhammad out there. If I go to church, there's Jesus Christ out there. And they're all speaking out that those prophets are God, because they're God messenger. And they're mind washing, right, your mind, that religious is God. There's no God touching except religious. They're mind washing, brainwashing you. And truly, truly, truly believe in those religions. And you're poor and disability and illness and struggle with so much thing, but they're surrounded by you know those believers, you know, caring each other and sharing memorable time, and you know, sharing tea and coffee and all for what? For what? That's love, okay? And that, that's you know, they're using me like this, right? So you have to believe in love, God. If you want to succeed, if you want to be happy, if you want to be always appreciating God. So any religious are perfect with me. If they accept me to believe, to believe those prophets, to believe in love and making my circumstances comfortable and, you know, always praying to share a memory about them with me, you know, those people. Because I have many problems out there. Because I don't believe in religious at all from beginning to the end. From age of five, I have so much struggling with religious. I mean, I don't believe in religious, but I believe in God. From age of five, truly, truly believe in God. Still, I'm working in the you know, communist store. I'm thinking every day, every single moment about God, love, appreciating, and so much thing that he is giving me. Succeeded. You know, in Japan, this conflict out there. Totally, totally conflict. But I can make it. I may go to Indonesia, may not these different films. I can go to France, Paris, December 21st, 27th. There's so much asset out there and so much luxury apartment, but very, very small, very small, very luxury apartment out there. And I could eat around. I could have, you know, my parents are very rich right now. Except my parents, those relatives, all poor and disability and illness, disappearing from society. But we can make it because 
Believing God is everything. I have faith. So my family are protected, always rich and succeeded. I can give to my best friend, Haman, Taimo, James, my best friend, and Takako Fumiko Hideshi Takaki. It's a rich and succeeded. They're all rich and succeeded. Because they truly believe in me, and truly I believe in them. And they carry so much sin, each other. I, I'm not sure I'm Muslim or not, but you know, in, a, in the Imam told me I'm Dimi, Jimmy, D H I M M I. I'm not involved in Islam. I have done so much thing to Islam in the Kobe Mosque in Japan, in the world. But they treated me like Dimi, <laughs> you know, kick me out of mosque, right? That's the, what, what we call cult, for sure. That's the Imam really looks like. Imam, okay, leader of the Muslim. So all Muslims are there, okay? They're leaders, so they have opinion, and they're, you know, the same opinion they have. So I don't, they don't like me. They hate me. I don't know why. Because I have Japanese, don't, you know, religious country that I can make it every day. I go to mosque, every day do good deeds, pay zakah, sadaka, and always valuing others, always praying for them. So they don't like me. They hate me. You know why? Because I have a face, but they don't have face. Involving those, you know, Kobe Mosque, they really understand that. Their background is Islam. 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, they're serving for Islam. But they don't have face at all. They don't have face. Zero. You know, in Japan, <laughs> we're all tested by face. Whether you believe in Muhammad, whether you believe in Islam, Ibrahim, whether you believe in Jesus Christ, whether you believe in God or not. You know, look, look at me right now. My, my you know, hand up and in my skin very really dirty because I play in the street. Even though there is dirty you know, dust out there, or like you know, cray and everything, right? Tobacco and I play in, in the street every day. Even toilet as well. The peas and poops are out there, right? But I pray in the out there. So I cannot make it without praying to God. But in the Kobe Mosque, Imam told me like shit, right? Dimi, right? Calling me. What is that? What's wrong with you, Muhammad? You're called, right? Surely, surely, called in the world. I guarantee you that you will disappear from society. I guarantee you that. Prayer like me, believer like me, children like shit like me. There's no such religious out there in the world. Prophet will be changed if you are not going to change circumstances around me. You know, every Japanese are laughing at those, right? This is a minor. And every, every world are laughing at you. Because I believe you. I'm asking you to help me so that I can go overseas, that I can get family, that I can pray to love, that I can make it so much good thing to others, so much good thing to others, so much good thing to the world. So you know what I mean? Love truly, truly believe in me. That's why he gives me. But it's just told me like shit. Calling me I'm disbelieber, not believer, not non-believer. And you are shit. That's Islam. King Salomon and King Muhammad. No, there, there's nothing. There's, they have no power at all right now. If you believe it, told me like shit, right? If you treat believer, you know, face free, face free, respect free, that you have to, you know, that's that's your job. You know how many job I have to, right? A king and prince, and, you know, like imam, and just just, just name, this power, right? They have many decision making, but they don't have face. I've seen no face from them. They spread power in the world, politics, economics, and those religions out there. It's a disbelieve. I guarantee you that. There are so much in you know good circumstances, so much in love with those religions. But not believe in love at all. Yeah, that's love and God are seeing those people. That's why they're punished by so much sin, right? In the, in the street, in the politics, in the economics, in the, in the market, in the world. They're all punished by that, like that. And one, what what world are, you know, targeting at is you know, justice from them, right? Justice from those power, right? To us people, right? Including me. I have done nothing wrong. 
I'm, I've done so much good thing to others, so much good thing to society, so much good thing to nation, so much good thing to world, so much good thing to family. Every day, every day, I pray for that. So I have to think about future possibility, future circumstance that I am standing right now. I want to change myself. I want to change for it for my bright future. So, well, love truly loves Islam. Right? So I have to go to mosque, or I have to go to Jewish community in front of my house, or I have to go to church. To praying to those prophets, praying to those love, and asking God forgiveness from my past sins. But I don't have any sins right now, but so. I'm currently Muslim and Dimi, by Dimi, calling me Dimi, Jimmy. So, nothing to talk to Muslim brothers or sisters. But, what are they going to do, right? To me like this, right? Worship me, right? To collect money, right? That's what they're doing. What will happen next? This is what you see in the whole world. So, I'm always praying for my family, future family, myself, and surrounding to be always happy that you succeeded. And I want to value you. I want to value you. I want to give you many things so by paying, by you know, paying zakat, sadaka, by investment, by business. So I guarantee you that I will not ever, ever let you down. I will never, ever let you harm, and I will never let you, you know, take away anything. I, I won't do that. So please. Believe in me and trust me, and I guarantee you that everything that is love. I'm a little bit, you know, I'm drunk right now, so well, very crazy. Right? So tomorrow I will meet my mother and eat, you know, sushi. <laughs> so so good, thank you, right? I have family, so I have so much good, you know, luxury out there, right? So. My Hamilton wants to be fixed soon, and yes, I will go to Indonesia one month from now. Enjoy my um, stay and then Ramadan, so I could pray to you know, those mosques, uh, B mosque, B mosque. I don't know near my uh, hotel. There's B mosque. I will uh, stay in Harris Sweet Sweet Harris FX Sweet Harris Hotel, Suleiman Hotel, and I will pray there and I will enjoy my stay. And thanks to Kiari for that, I will send send her stamps and gold coin for sure. So if possible, I will buy a Yu-Gi-Oh card and send it to her, but I'm not sure they will deliver it to you by May 19th, so be careful about that. And Samantha, thank you. And Samantha, thank you.